Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Navy K631, so stay tuned. A couple of weeks ago, I was on fasttech.com, finishing up a order of vaping stuff, and I sort of told myself, self, you need to check out the knife section before you hit the purchase button because a lot of the knives are made in China and they probably sell some here. So I did and I was pleasantly surprised to find a lot of knives that looked very familiar. However, upon closer observation, I noticed that some of these knives that looked very familiar did not have the right branding on them, such as this one, because this is say it's Spyderco, Spyderco, or Bird, Bird, except it's like bird-like, but it has a Spyderco hole. But um, it, it seems like uh, it's branded differently. It says Navy K-631. So I, what I suspect, 99%, plus I, I did check also online to get more information about this. This is probably made in the same factory as the Bird, the Bird Caracara 2. And a lot of knives that are being sold on Fast Tech and all, and a lot, all the other Chinese vendors out there um, probably um, get these knives from the manufacturers that our big knife companies here in America have China make in those same factories because I see Gerber's on there some of them still say Gerber some say still say Bear Grylls some may not some uh, look like CRKT some look like uh, maybe even a Benchmade so you can find them cheaper so let's go ahead and take a closer look so this came in this satchel it's a digital camo it's kind of nice actually it has a uh, the inside is sort of lined with some material that may be waterproof I don't know but um, just a little extra bonus I wouldn't carry the knife in this but it came in this instead of a box which is kind of nice now, before we go any further, I, I'd just like to say, um, ad address why I purchased this. The, the thing's a clone, and you, there's not too many reviews on this. And if you were to buy the Bird, that would probably, right now, the Bird, with the G10 scales, which is what this has, would run you about $30, $33, something like that. This, from FastTech.com, cost $16.21. That's it, $16.21. Now, the, the models change, so th this is what this model looks like <laughs> when I bought it. When I, when I mean the models change, this particular model might start having different various features um, as the next run comes out. I highly suspect, highly, highly suspect, I don't want to say with absolute assurance but from what I read this probably comes out of the same factory that the Spyderco Bird Cara Cara comes out of because Spyderco has uh, their bird line uh, made in China and the Cara Cara probably gets made in the same factory as, as this but this is branded Navy K631. I'm not saying 100% but I'm saying highly likely so anyway let's go ahead and go over the specifications really quick what you're looking at is g10 scales and we have a blade length of three and three quarter inches so this is a, a big knife blade thickness is an eighth of an inch and the blade material is 440c that's one of the things different um, than the Caracara 2 which uses 8cr 13 mov i believe the weight is four and a half ounces. By the way, the 440C steel should be around 56 to 58 HRC. That's your hardest. Now, this is a lockback. And overall length is eight and a half inches. And close length is four and three quarter inches. So there's the specs really quick. And we'll go ahead and just take a nice close look at that. And you can see this has serrations. Again, there is a plain edge version out there 
just not on fast tech you can search some other websites so, such as ebay and uh, i don't think uh this may or may not be on amazon but like aliexpress may have it um some other chinese vendors out there do have a dh gate and, and things like that so you'll have to get a little creative with your googling but i'm sure you can find it now this does have liner liners and that g10 stainless steel liners it has a clip now this is something else that varies from the caracara because the the clip sort of has a, a hole in it here so it's able to mount up here or for your tip down carry this however does not enable you to do any kind of tip down only tip up left and right just take the torque screws out put it in the holes that they already give you right there you do get a lanyard hole again this is a lock back it's done pretty nice to be honest even the clip is pretty nice there are some flaws you know the attention to detail on, on these clothes are not as good as the um, things they're trying to copy you can see there's some marks there that I did not put in it that's the, this is the way it came and if you look really really close you may see some um, minor minor imperfections but um you know if you're just EDCing something and you know it's something you're going to use then this is a, a good night not a really a collector's piece now comfort wow i mean this feels really good the jimping is outstanding on this it is outstanding and i love the 50 50 finger choil right there i mean i i really went after this knife because this has everything i like in a knife design it has you know that that forward finger chawl that you could choke up or if you need extra extension you could reach back here and it's very comfortable in both positions it's even comfortable because of the way this is shaped here on the back of the of the uh, scales here for your thumb just to rest like that so you could do your stabbing motion uh, very nicely so let's go ahead and fold this up again it's just like a spider co um, whoops <laughs> it, it's a little uh, stiff, but um, it'll loosen up as it wears in. So let's uh, go ahead and fold that up again. And let's look at blade centering. And you can see it's uh, a little bit toward, I don't know. When I first uh, got it, it was sort of over to one side. Now it's sort of working its way centered pretty good so I guess it just uh, wore a little bit but it's almost centered a little bit to your left right there which is the it came maybe a little bit further to the left but I guess as you're using it and you're pressing down here it's uh, wearing in so it'll probably end up centered fine if not you can go ahead and hit the pivot screw and do a little adjustment and I'm sure you can center it fine and also you have torque screws all around here so if you want to disassemble it you can do so for cleaning and, and maintenance now the, again the blade is that leaf spider code design with the big spidey hole and i love this hole much better than the bird's hole which is another reason why i really like this over the bird i just i just like a round hole it just feels more natural for my uh, thumb and it's a full flat grind all the way to the top the uh, the version of this that was out maybe a, a year or two ago did not have a full flat grind it sort of had a uh, hollow grind half up and then now they varied it the latest iteration of this model is more spiderco like with the full flat um, grind so if you had those clamp on sharpening devices you may have a little bit of issue with it fitting right so you're gonna have to use a alternative for sharpening the serrations are nothing to write home about, just your normal everyday serrations. The finish on it is satin, sort of like a, you know, brushed metal. Really nice, really nice. Lock up, no side to side, no up or down. It's just uh, pretty impressive for $16.21. This might be the highest value knife I've come across in a very very long time and i love lockbacks my favorite um, it just feels very solid very comfortable so what else do we do the test knives are out here oh whoops hit the camera let's go ahead and do a quick paper test now again because the serrations i have to um 
sort of uh, reach down here. Okay, well I just uh, push cut using one of the serrations there. And uh, let me see if I can get the, the plain edge. There we go. Just about a push cut on that one. There, there's not much edge. It's half, you know, this is half and half, half serration. So the, uh, the flat grind part is, uh, eh, it's not the sharpest in the world. Could be a little sharper. Needs to be worked on a little bit. There we go. I just don't have a lot to go on, but um, it's moderate. It could be better. Out of the box serrations are, are very sharp. The jimping, very sharp and, and useful. They're not there for cosmetic reasons. I love that 50-50 choil up there. It's just great, but it's almost useless when you have serrations. You need a flat edge so you can do your fine work and, and choke up on the blade. So, you know, it is what it is that with this particular model. What else do we do? We get the stabbing test. So I need a piece of wood, which I just happen to have right here. Let's make sure this 440C steel is treated properly. So I'll go ahead and stab this pine wood right here. And uh, you can see it's in there pretty good. And uh, I'm going to rock this back and forth. Again, in there pretty good. We'll rock it. In there pretty good. Rock it. So let's see how the edge stood up. It looks pretty straight. Let's go ahead and take a close look. Where are you? There you are. Good to go, you tell me. Looks like it uh, passed that test. Oh, that stabbing, did it loosen up anything? No. Okay, so I am very, very impressed with this character 2 clone. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. Well, it's time to rate the knife. So it gets a 9 out of 10. That's right, 9 out of 10. And if this were like a dollar or two cheaper, this would have been on my highly recommended $15 and below um, knife. It's just very impressive. I almost, you know, I almost want to give it another chance to, uh, there we go, <laughs> to pass the cut test. So it's just very hard when you only have that much plain edge. I, I wish I had a, a, a full plain edge there to play with here. But anyway, the, the, the one thing that it, it loses a point is because of the, the Q&A. You know, just some fine little details that, you know, that wouldn't pass for, you know, if it were a spider clone knife and everything. But because they're, it's probably getting snug out the back of the Chinese factory and getting stamped navy, where they make the bird. Um, the, these might be maybe the ones that are considered defects. I don't know, because they have cosmetic blemishes or, or whatever. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I don't want to say <laughs> that this is going on. Anyway, I like it. I, I think it makes an excellent EDC as long as that blade length doesn't violate your local ordinances and, and rules, regulations, laws, all the things they like to use to control you and me. Love these G10 scales just really good you know there, there is one other thing that I sort of wish you know the Karakara um, this mounts up higher so there is a lot sticking out all that sticking out of your pocket when you have it in your pocket I wish the, the clip was a little bit higher it is on the Karakara but it is what it is for $16.21 at fasttech.com love it okay well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and you. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video or one plus one or whatever Google is doing these days. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out, get my videos out there, and um, motivates me to do more videos, you know? <laughs> okay, well you take care.